Hi team, Coach Alexi here. I think as runners, we can often get really caught up in the specifics, a very specific workout, data, how we're improving, our heart rate, the metrics that our watches are telling us. Um, but actually, for uh, improving in running, in any sport, in fact, and improving our general fitness, it comes down to things that are a lot lot simpler and one of those things that I'm going to talk about in today's video is consistency. Our body is brilliant at adapting to things that we ask it to do regularly. Um, the downside to that is if you ask it fairly pretty regularly to sit down for extended periods in front of a computer it will adapt to make that easier as well so it's a bit of a double-edged sword. But from a running perspective we can get you know the majority a good 70% at a guess of the benefits of running training just from getting out the door on a regular basis. Um, and to be honest with you, that's an area with a lot of the runners that I work with that, that can be a bit of a struggle, right? We have busy, demanding lives. There are more financial pressures on people at the moment. So fitting things in around work and family and caring responsibilities and other hobbies and other stuff that you do and home life and all of that kind of thing can be a, a pretty decent challenge, can't it? Um, so let's talk a little bit about how you can help make uh, that uh, consistency uh, component a real core part of your of your training. So I guess the first thing that I often do when I, I take on a new runner is talk to them about their job, their hours, their commute, their available time, what their week looks like. Um, you know, do they, for example, have a young family? So when they get home from work, um, it's it's dinner time, it's catching up with the with the children, it's their bedtime. Um, you know, and are you really going to head back out for a run after all of that at like eight nine o'clock in the evening? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe you have quite a demanding job, either physically or mentally, a long commute. Once you finally get home uh, at the end of the day. Um, you know, is it reasonable or how do we make that run more appealing than the gravitational pull of the sofa? Um, you know, might it be that you want to do a run on Saturday and Sunday and try and only fit one run in, in on a weekday because, you know, that's how uh, it might suit your, your life and your work patterns better. Maybe your work pattern isn't the standard nine to five. Maybe you work shifts, you work nights, you know, in which case each week is going to be different, isn't it? Um, from each calendar week because your week you know, it might be eight days, ten days, four days, you know, whatever rotating shift pattern that might be. Um, so you want to try and slot your training in where it complements that instead of forcing yourself to go on a run every Wednesday when Wednesday isn't necessarily a good day to run on some weeks. So thinking about everything else that's going on in life, maybe just taking a little bit of time or getting a help from, from a, a coach like myself to, to plan that out and come up with something that is feasible and where running complements the rest of your life. What we don't want to get to is where your brain starts thinking that it's one more thing on an already long and stressful to-do list that you have to fit in, because then we start ruining that, viewing those runs a little bit more negatively and then they become less likely to happen. So building on that point, another key thing which can be really useful uh, to help our consistency with running is making it fun. So, you know, I've touched on this in a previous video fairly recently, but think of thinking about, you know, what types of run do you enjoy? What routes do you enjoy? Um, you know, trying to make those runs something that you look forward to. You know, I'm pretty good at fitting my training in, um, but if I compare it to as a bit of a crime drama fan, you know, the, the latest episode of, my, of a favourite kind of crime drama, um, I will definitely be finding a 45 minutes to an hour of my day to watch that. And sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to fit in, fit in my training, even though I know I enjoy that too. So what other ways can you make it something that you're really looking forward to? Because I think if you're really looking forward to it, it's just infinitely easier to, to get that in and ticked off. So a couple of things to think about there. I'll be kind of continuing on the theme over the next few videos about, you know, how individual we are, how the data that our watchers talks to us about is, you know, useful, part of the picture, but not the whole picture. There's a lot more complexity going on with us humans than just the numbers. Hope that's useful.